Corsair's new LL series hydraulic bearing fans feature excellent airflow, quiet operation, and powerful lighting with 16 independent RGB LEDs across two separate loops. Available in 120 and 140 millimeter sizes and controlled by Corsair's Lighting Node Pro, LL series fans can give your system a distinct and customizable look. Click the link in the description for more information. Excellent! Hello everyone and welcome to Falls Hardware. Today's video is an epic unboxing and you may or may not have opinions on unboxings and whether or not they are epic in and of themselves, but what I've got is my haul from Black Friday and Cyber Monday this year. So um, I ordered lots of stuff. This is all stuff that I ordered directly and paid for, just in case you're wondering, and I'll put links to it in the description. Those are gonna use affiliate links, just so you know, but hey, clicking those helps me out if you happen to buy any of this stuff. Um, I'm gonna show you some comparisons of the prices I got on this stuff to hopefully some historic prices using Camel Camel Camel, uh, and I'll also tell you where I got the different things and what price I paid for them and all that kind of stuff. So I think we should start small and we'll work our way up to the bigger items, just like we do on Christmas morning at my house. And uh, that we're eventually gonna get to that Dell monitor in the back of the 43 inch. That is gonna be the, the crowning achievement of today's unboxing video. So uh, let me move some stuff around, let's get started. Our first item up for bids, I actually already opened because um, I thought there was going to be something else in the package, but uh, this one came from Amazon, and whereas I have been hesitant when it comes to the smart home stuff, uh, this was one that I jumped on partially because there was a deal for it. Most of these I jumped on because there were deal deals for them. This is a Wi-Fi smart power strip surge protector, uh, so it works with Amazon Alexa as well as Google Assistant. You can plug different devices into that, and then you can use that to control stuff like by saying the okay and then the word Google and then asking it to do things. Uh, this is pretty much all there is to it. It's made by Conico. Very simple. Uh, some USB power uh, you know connectors on there make it make it handy as well and that's that's really all there is. Uh, but yeah I, I'll have to plug these in. Hopefully whatever device they're using in here for the Wi-Fi is not susceptible to some breach or hardware vulnerability, but I got two of them, and uh, again, a bit of an impulse buy, but we'll just see if I can figure out some ways to use these out here in the garage. Actually, what I kind of wanted to do was for Joe, because he's not tall enough to, Joe's helping me uh, film this today, by the way, he's not tall enough to reach where my light switches are, so maybe I could connect my lights to this, and then he could say like, okay, friendly Mr. Google uh, thing, turn the lights on, and then it'll do it. We'll see. We'll figure that out. Try to make things easier for Joe. Now double checking my sale over on Amazon, uh, currently unavailable is this device, so maybe it was end of life. Maybe that's why it was on such a good deal. I'm not, I'm not, not available out of stock. It looks like the lowest price it was was about what I bought it for, which was $26 each. Normally selling for $30. They cranked it back up to $36 and now they're just gone. So there's your history. By the way, this is Camel 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 and you can take any Amazon uh, order or any Amazon product page and plug it in there and it'll tell you the pricing history for it And it's a great way to tell am I getting a good deal or Did they jack the price up on this two weeks ago in order to tell me I was getting a good deal next up is a small package here from Best Buy and Black Friday Cyber Monday great time to get deals on memory cards and unless I'm completely mistaken Wow that was, that was <laughs> This is the most ineffective use of my Spyderco, I think, ever. Right there, let's try that again. Just making a mess of this. Order info. Ta-da! SanDisk Extreme Plus 128 gig. A uh, little, little micro SD card. Micro SD XC. Uh, kit compatible with 4K Ultra HD. It's a Class 3 card. Um, so this is just more memory. I've got a couple 256 gig memory cards, uh, but this being micro SD means it'll work very well with uh, small devices like GoPro and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it was a good deal, and I don't remember how much I paid for it. All right, I had to do some research, but um, now that I've realized that uh, not everything I bought was from Amazon, this was $50 at Best Buy. Same price as it's dipped down to on Amazon, but um, 65 is what it's at now, so I'd say that's a, that's a reasonably good deal. Next up uh, is this package, which came from Performance PCs. And this was not necessarily a, like a Black Friday deal. 
this is just stuff that I needed that I happened to order at the same time. So, um, and here we have some peanuts. These look like the edible packing peanuts. Super delicious. All right, and I'm uh, actually really happy about this arriving because I have four little things in here. Oh, look, they're stapled together. These are these are little uh, reducers. Uh, they come from Phobia, and uh, they are three eighths to G one quarter reducers. So basically, I can take these, uh, screw them into the uh, fill ports that I have on Arctic Panther back there, which you can't see because the Delphin. Uh, monitor is blocking it and actually use those to connect up to the pipings which I am wanting to do because I want to do a flush of that system and take a look at how the new coolant has been doing in there uh, and now I can actually do that in the fashion that I intended to. It took me way too long to actually go through and order those. Next up is another thing from Amazon and this uh -huh. so this was actually part of the deal that came with what's in this box right here so I'm gonna go ahead and open this because uh, I am expanding my capabilities when it comes to video production with this order. This is a business expense. I ordered it with my business, my business card because I run a business. Uh, and here, this is actually two separate orders that got shipped together. This was what I got with the business card. And then this was a separate order, uh, so I'll come back to this in just a second. So the RX100 Mark V, uh, basically I have a small handheld camera that I use when I'm on the go and I need to get close-ups of stuff, that's what Joe's using right now, it's the Lumix LX100. Really nice little camera, had it for, I want to say four years now though. It's gotten a lot of use, uh, it's getting some dust in the housing and stuff like that, so um, I wanted something that was a little bit more portable and the RX100 Mark V was the answer to that one. Kyle's actually already got one of these. And it's nice just because it's so tiny, uh, and it is so compact, and it also gets really good uh, video. Uh, even the sound isn't bad at all. And the um, 4K is slightly limited with this camera by the fact that it heats up. So if you want to record a really long 4K clip, don't want to do it with this camera, it will shut down after a little bit. But beyond that, uh, it's got everything that I, that I want uh, when it comes to a little portable camera. So. Uh, I'm happy about that. Oh, and the really nice thing is the flip up LCD. So if I'm doing selfies or just vlogging, which I tend to do a little bit more now these days than I used to, you can flip that up and get a look at yourself. So uh, this one, again, not a crazy deal because this is still a relatively new product and they weren't being significantly marked down, but I got it for 900 and then uh, also came with a $50 Amazon gift card. So. Uh, here's the actual product page on Amazon, currently selling for $950, and if we double check that over on Camel Camel Camel, it looks like the lowest price it ever dropped down to was $888, at least on Amazon, uh, and so getting it for uh, $900 plus a $50 gift card, I'm happy with that. Let's move on to this. Uh, this is actually going to be a gift for my wife, so I'm not going to open it right now. I'm, I'm going to leave this for her to open, uh, but this is a dash cam, the Vantrue Dash Cam N2. Uh, records in front of you as well as behind you. Uh, records in 1080 as far, yeah, 1080 on the front cam and 720 on the back cam. And um, this is just one of those things where I've done a fair amount of traveling like in Taiwan. If you go to Taiwan, every single car has one of these in it. And if you're ever in an accident or something like that, it's just super nice to have to be able to say, here's the video of exactly what happened. So uh, my wife has a Subaru and I think this will uh, be good to have in her car because she commutes and drives every day. So now this normally sells for about a hundred and it looks like it's going for $170 right now if you buy it directly from Amazon. And uh, this one has dipped down a little bit. Looks like it's dipped down to about $150. This was a deal I actually found on Slick Deals. Uh, it had a promo code that knocked this about $62 off the price. So it was about $100 and then I, I used a gift card on it as well. So that was cool. All right, we are out of small things. We need to move up to larger things. Oh God, starting with this. CyberPower UPS. Uh, UPS is super, super nice to have, very convenient. I did a video on these last year, well, it was about underappreciated or underrated PC accessories. And if you have a PC and your PC is good and you like it and you don't have a UPS, maybe consider one as your next investment because especially if you live anywhere where power is a concern, if you ever have brownouts or blackouts, 
uh, or if you simply live in a house or an apartment that shares power with other people and other people like turn on hair dryers or heaters or whatever and your power dies, then a UPS is really, really nice to have. Black Friday is a time when you can get them pretty significantly reduced in price. So I actually bought one of these last year. Um, this unit normally goes for about $170. I got it for $120. Um, and I bought the one last year to go out here, but then uh, the UPS that I had had, that I had been using for, I don't know, six, seven, eight years, it, back in the computer room died, so I ended up using the one I got last year in the computer room. So now this one is for out here in the garage. And uh, for live streaming, um, granted if you're live streaming and your power goes out, you might lose internet too, so that might not help you. But uh, for stuff like that, anytime you're using a computer and power going out would be an inconvenience. That's what a UPS is for. There's really not a whole lot to like show from these things. It's got the plastic all over it still. I'll take that off very soon. I'm gonna be doing some setup out here for our upcoming charity live stream event and I'm definitely gonna be implementing this. Uh, but it comes with several cables so you can plug it in so you can do surge protection for uh, your uh, phone lines and for a coaxial connection for your uh, network if that's, the, if that's something that you, that you use. And this is a 900 watt unit. And here I'm actually super excited uh, because I'm seeing that I got a really good deal on this. $215 is what it is selling for right now. This is the 900 watt version available in uh, lower power uh, capacities if you don't need to back up multiple computers, for example. But this was $120 uh, on the Black Friday deal, normally $215. And it looks like $120, which was just last week, uh, was the lowest price that it has ever been. So that's the beauty of Camel Camel Camel. You can, can really be like, yeah, confirmed. I got a good deal, so excited to loop this one into our setup out here. And lastly, I have two monitors. Now, I'm gonna tell a quick story here because the monitor back here, the Dell 43 inch 4K monitor uh, was a lightning deal for $650 on Amazon. Uh, crazy deal. And it was the lightning deal combined with the video that Wendell did on it uh, where uh, he went with Ryan and they unboxed it and they took a look at it and everything. And they were pretty impressed with it. It's not the best uh, like color reproduction you can get, but for $650 for a monitor that size, uh, it seems pretty good. So I jumped on it. I was like, I need that. And then I went and measured my desk. And I wanna have two monitors side by side, but uh, it's just way too big. It's not gonna fit. So uh, I ran it by my wife. I was like, hey, I got this big monitor. Maybe you might be interested because she likes to game and stuff. She is. So we're gonna try to uh, use that as a single monitor on her desk. And then of course, after I did that, I was like, well, I was all excited about a new 4K monitor, and I especially wanted to do two 4K monitors on my desk. So, uh, so I followed up and got this. Uh, this is an LG 4K monitor. This one was also very reasonably priced. This is 32 inches, so it's the same size as my existing uh, Asus monitor, which has really good color reproduction, it's 10 bit and everything. This one was less expensive, so this one was, I believe, $380. And I got this from B&H. Um, I found it elsewhere. No, this was 370. I found it elsewhere for 400, and then B&H had it for 370. It's like I got to jump on that. So uh, here goes the LG uh, 32UD59, 32-inch monitor. Reviews on this are also really good. Uh, it comes with like a nice display port and HDMI cable. And uh, I got to tell you, 4K 32-inch is like such a nice combination of resolution and size. Lightweight monitors are a lot easier to mount on VESA mounts and that kind of thing. This does come with a stand. I believe it's got height and tilt, but not swivel, uh, or pivot, not height, tilt, swivel, but not pivot. And you probably wouldn't want to pivot a monitor this size anyway. Why so serious? No? Okay. So there we go, uh, big ass LG monitor, 4K, 32 inch. Uh, I sure hope there are no dead pixels or anything like that. 
um, but we'll we'll test that out in just a minute. It's got display port and two HDMI inputs on the back, uh, and that's pretty much it. So, like it's pretty pretty straightforward. Other than that, I think it's got a couple speakers at the bottom, but you know you don't want to bother with uh, monitor speakers usually anyway. Yeah, that's all. I like it. It's got a little nub down here to control the on-screen display. Good position for that. Okay. <laughs> this is supposed to be a two-man lift. Why did I bring it up here? This is a bad idea. Uh, this is pretty much packaged like a like a, a TV. It's got these little latches in the bottom, and then that should theoretically. Yeah, there we go. cables it comes with. So guys, I'm not going to do a full review on this or anything. I'll link to uh, the video that Wendell did in the video's description, but a uh, crazy amount of nice I.O. on the back, including a uh, display port, a couple of those, a couple HDMI's. Uh, you also got a pass-through for uh, USB 3.0, so hub that comes with that. And then of course, all the cables it came with over here, which includes a uh, display port, HDMI, as well as a nice uh, USB 3 adapter cable too. So, very nice to have. So guys, here's the actual product page uh, on Amazon. You can see I bought this on the 24th. It's $750 right now. I got it during a lightning sale for $650. List price is $1,200. And over on Camel, 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 uh, we can see that it was around the $900 range for quite a while. Has dipped down to being available for $750 right now. Still seems like a pretty good deal. Um, but of course, the cheapest it was, it's not even listed on here, I think due to the fact that it was a lightning sale, perhaps, but um, $650. I'd say that's a pretty good deal for a monitor this size. Of course, the question is, will it fit? I'm not sure. Instead of picturing this as like one large 16 by nine monitor, think of it as like four 1080 monitors, maybe. That might be slightly more reasonable. But guys, that is all for this video, my crazy unboxing. This has been my haul for Black Friday and Cyber Monday 2017. And if you guys got some great deals as well, uh, I'd love if you'd share those down in the comment section down below, of course. Uh, and especially if there's any deals that are still ongoing that you think are, uh, are good, feel free to post those and share them with the folks at home. I'll put links again to these products down in the video's description, just so check them out down there if you want to. Hit the thumbs up button on your way out if you enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys next time.